beers demonstrate the, the, the character of the, the place in which they're made. The names often suggest connections to local history, local people. Brilliant to work for. It was, it was like a family. It wasn't a firm they were, they, were, they were great to work for. This is an unhappy tale, a parable of the fate that has overtaken so much of our manufacturing industry during the past 30 years. It's about a clash of cultures. People drank Vaux beers uh, in clubs, in pubs. It, they were hugely popular, you know. So it was an integral part of Sunderland, much more integral than any other industry. No one actually said you must split brewing and hotels, or you must get rid of one or the other. But our board, it, it, it did fall out with itself. And the very first question we were asked when we went to talk to the lawyers and accountants who advised us were, have you got a willing seller? And I think at the time, naively, we believed the answer to that was yes. People were there and they were watching it and it, and it was, it, you know, it's kind of like being in a crematorium. It's like you're sitting there, you're having your service and you're just waiting for that curtain to close. That was my life, really speaking. As a boy, as a man, obviously I raised a family out of Vauxhall and I took it really badly in fairness. I was traumatised. On the one hand is a long established, respected company managed by successive generations of the same family who take the old fashioned view that their responsibilities extend to their workforce and to the public interest as well as to their shareholders. I think there is, there is a lingering sadness. I mean, you, you can't get away from the fact was what a tragedy it was. On the other hand, other city institutions which acknowledge only an obligation to make for themselves and their clients the fastest buck in the shortest possible time. Mm -hmm.